What's going on YouTube? Chase here in Aftershock Videos, and as you can see today, we are going to be trying out the Exo Scissors, which I believe just came out in the Grand Creators, so they are fairly new. Now, they don't have a whole lot going on for them, but they do have some sort of synergy with a bunch of XYZs. So having said that, let's go ahead and go for the car by car. You kind of see what I'm going for. I just built this, so we are legitimately trying this for the first time today. We have a Gigabyte, which can be special summoned if you control a Spellcaster monster. Same with uh, Ranryu. Nefarious Archfiend and Inari Fire. All four of these are from the Spirit Charmers, I believe, and they can be special. They could all be special summoned if you control a spellcaster. And luckily, they are all level fours, so they play in really well with these. Now, for the first Exo Sister we have is Elise. Elise. We'll call it Elise. It's a more familiar name. Uh, basically, this one says if you control a Exo Sister monster, you could special summon this card from your hand. Then, if you control a Stella, you gain 800 life points. So. This one's really good because you could just special summon from this card. You could special summon this card from your hand if you control an Exo Sister monster, which is a lot of decks. Uh, that's kind of the speed we kind of need nowadays. Then, if it happens to be Stella on the field, you can gain 800 life points, which kind of plays into some of these other cards, which which make you pay precisely 800 life points to activate their effect. So they kind of counter counterbalance each other. And then this card says if your if your opponent moves a card cards. Out of either graveyard, except during the damage step, you could special summon from your extra deck an Exo Sisters XYZ monster. So a lot of these Exo Sisters, I believe, have some sort of a ghost bell effect where something triggers if something happens from the graveyard, which is kind of useful. So that's one less hand trap you got to run in your deck. So that's what she does. Next we have Irene. We have three of those and three of the Elise. I didn't know if I mentioned that, but here is three Irene's. Uh, this one says you can place one Exo Sister card from your hand on the bottom, or yeah, from your hand on the bottom of the deck. Draw one card. Not sure why you'd want to do that, but I guess if it helps you kind of get some sort of card rotation, I don't know. But it says you gain 800 life points if you do that. If your opponent moves a card from either graveyard, you special summon from the extra deck an XYZ Sisters monster, which is kind of cool. Use this card as face up materials, and then that's pretty much it for that one. So this one, we have Exo Sister Stella, gun running three of each. So during your main phase, you can special summon one Exo Sister from your hand. So that's pretty nice, too. Then if you control an Elise, you gain 100 life points. So Irene and, or no, Stella, sorry, Stella and Elise work together, and I believe Sophia and Irene do. Uh, so Stella's second effect is you can special summon from your extra deck. Or uh, if your opponent moves a card, so, okay, so it's the same. Same uh, second effect on that one. And Sophia, her first effect is if you control an Exo Sister monster, you can draw one card. So if you normal summon this one, you could, I believe you could special summon one of the other ones. Either way, you can get 100 life points and draw a card. So Sophia is pretty good. So yeah, so it says if you control an ex, another Exosystem monster, you could draw one card. So, so normal summon her, get a special summon, draw a card. Then if you control an Exos, Exosister Irene, get 100 life points. So this one probably has the most value, I would say. And then it has the same second effect as the other ones. So next, going into the rest of the deck, we do have three Ash Blossom for Interruptions, one Right Geki, one Harpy's Feather Duster for back row removal, one Monster Reborn. And then next we have the Spells and Traps, and the first Exo Sister spell we have is a quick effect called Exo Sister Arment. It says pay 100 life points so that it helps with the uh, gain from the Exo Sister monsters. It says then target one Exo Sister monster you control, special summon a XYZ monster from your extra deck with a different name than the cards you control by using that target as material. So that's kind of cool. You get to turbo XYZ monsters out on a quick spell. Uh, uh, blah, 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 blah. You can only activate this card during your opponent's turn unless your opponent controls a monster special summon from the graveyard. So so you get XYZ. So basically it's an IP. This card is almost like an IP Mascarina, but for XYZs on your opponent's turn. So that's kind of nice. We have one more Cosmic Cyclone. Uh, one XYZ import since we are running heavy on the XYZs you can run more of these if you want I guess but Most of the time when you actually need this card you almost never draw it So maybe if I only run one maybe it'll come up more often who knows anyways We have three exo sister packs another quick play spell we have three of these I believe this card is pretty good it says during the main phase pay 100 pay 800 life points add an exo sister card from your deck to your hand So this is a searcher. So that's really nice then if the added monster by this effect uh, Then if you added a monster by this effect uh, you can special summon it if the Exo Sister monster mentioned on it. Okay, so this one will play well if you have Elise and you don't have Stella in your hand. You can activate Exo Sister packs and you can get the opposite card that's mentioned on each Exo Sister uh, description. So that's kind of nice. And then um, 
mention on your hand or field or in your, or in your graveyard. Okay, so that's kind of cool. Okay, so next we have the double or nothing because we are running the package of the Utopia double, also with the Utopia Dragonar and the uh, Utopic Dragon. So that plays into that. We have two Exo Sister Carp Carpe Divium, Carpe Div Divum, uh, whatever. So this is a continuous spell. We are only running two of these. It says neither player can target X Y Z or sorry Exo Sister monsters you control with effects of monsters that were special summoned from the graveyard. Uh, if you only you could only use each of the following effects once per turn. If you X Y Z summon a Exo Sister monster, you could declare one card name, negate the activated effects and effects on the field of cards with that original name until the end turn. So it's not a quick play, which would be broken. So you so this one would probably be better going second. If you know what's going to happen, declare one card name. So it doesn't have to be a spell, trap, or monster specifically. So it's almost like a cross-out designator, almost, but it just, you just negate the activation. Don't really get rid of it altogether, but, so I mean, that one's okay. Uh, when an attack is declared involving your Exosystem monster, you can target one spell or trap your opponent controls destroyed. So it gets a little bit of removal too, so that's kind of nice. In addition, you know, in addition to the Harpies and the Cyclones, so that's pretty good. Next, we have two infinite permanences, two Exo Sister Vadis, 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 one of those. Anyways, it says pay uh, pay eight hundred life points. Choose one Exo Sister monster from your deck. So okay, so choose not target. Choose one Exo Sister monster from your deck. Then take one Exo Sister monster from your deck that is mentioned on that other. So the two that kind of incorporate with each other. Choose one and then the other, and then special summon both. But shuffle them into the deck during the end phase. Also, for the rest of this turn after this card resolves, you cannot special summon monsters from your extra deck except Exo Sister monsters. So this one is basically a you get both of the monsters that correspond with each other, or Exo Sisters that correspond with each other, and then you get to special summon them. It says dur destroy them, dur but shuffle them back into the deck during the end phase. So you're probably more like more or less likely going to go into an X Y Z plays almost immediately after that, just so you don't have to shuffle them back. But that's kind of nice stinks that it's kind of on your opponent's turn but either way or i guess it doesn't have to be but <laughs> it is pretty nice to get two monsters on the field for a cost of a trap card and 800 life points so that's pretty good we got one solemn strike and two solemn judgments now in the extra deck as you can see we are running all xyz's it only makes sense so we got the utopia double we have the first exorcister jib jibrine 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 one of those two it takes two level fours it says cannot be destroyed by the activated effects of monster special summon from the graveyard so if they so happen to special summon from the graveyard and the effect gets activated it does not destroy this card you can only activate the following effects once per turn if you control this card that was xyz summoned by the turn the, this turn by using an XOC monster exo sister monster as material quick effect you can target one effect monster your opponent controls negate its effects until the end of this turn so it's unfortunate that it targets like you know so it's not too broken but it is pretty cool uh, then you can detach one material from this card for the rest of this turn. All X Y Z monsters you control gain 800 life, 800 attacks. So that was kind of cool. This is the weakest of the attacks, but you will probably normally be summoning this in defense position. So next we have one extra sister, Usofiel. This is another uh, rank two. It takes two level four monsters. This one's a little bit stronger. It's got 21 attack and 800, 1800 defense. S Cannot be destroyed by the same activated effects of monster special summon from the graveyard. You can only use each of the following effects once per turn. If this card is XYZ summon using Exo, Exo Sister Monsters material, you can activate this effect. Neither player can activate card effects in the graveyard this turn. And then you can detach one material from this card. Then target one monster your opponent controls return it to the hand. So this one has a quick effect built in. Or no, it's not. A, that one's not a quick effect. No, this one has a built in compulse. So that's kind of nice. And then we have. Uh, two, so two of each of the sisters I have so far. This one we have two extra sister Caspitelli. Uh, this is the same rank, same material requirement. Says the same first line, and then it says uh, if this card is X Y Z summoned you just using an Exo Sister monster as material, you can activate this effect. Neither player can special summon monsters from the graveyards for the rest of this turn. So this that could be potentially pretty good, and it does have a little bit higher attack. You can detach one material from this card, add an Exo Sister monster from your deck to your hand. So it is also has a searcher. So that's kind of nice. Next we have, I believe, we have two Exo Sister Mika, Mika Elise. I'm thinking they're com trying to combine the names of the two sisters, but... Uh, pronunciation isn't my strong suit. Uh, cannot be uh, destroyed by 
battle. So this one's a little different. Cannot be destroyed by battle with a monster special summon from the graveyard. So that's kind of neat. Uh, says if you control this card that was XYZ summoned by using an exosystem monster as material, quick effect. You could okay, so this one's got a quick effect. Says you can target one card your opponent controls or in their graveyard and banish it. This one is really strong. You can detach one material from this card, add an exosister spell or trap from your deck to your hand. So that was actually that was actually pretty good. I do like that one, and it's a little bit stronger 2500 attack. Now, this one's in the apparently in the OCG, don't have this one yet. This one's exosisters magnifica. I'm um, just kind of playing this. I know it's not in the TCG, so we can't technically play this one. As far as my knowledge is concerned, I don't know if this is updated or not. But this one is two rank four Exosister monsters. So this one takes two XYZs. Uh, it says must be XYZ summoned with the above materials. Must be, so that's a hard hard um, requirement. This card can make a second attack during each battle phase. So it's 2800, so it's nothing to scoff at. Once per turn, quick effect, you can detach one material from this card. Banish one card your opponent controls. That's pretty good. It's not a targeting, so that's pretty good. When your opponent activates a card or effect, quick effect, there's two quick effects, you can return one XYZ monster attached to this card that you own to the extra deck. Then you can special summon that monster from your extra deck using this card as material. So it kind of helps generate with the different effects that you need. So next we have, of course, since we're running the Utopia Double package, we have number 39, Hope Harbinger, the Utopic Dragon, of course, and the Utopia Dragonar, and then Zeus to overlay for any other problems. Now the extra deck, we just have some all kinds of uh, extra stuff. You see we got the Triple Nibiru, a Lava Golem, uh, two Gamma Seal, one Infinitrack Fortress Mega Clops. I put this in the Hungry Burger uh, video if you've seen that. But since we do have a bunch of XYZs, we can potentially go into Mega Clops. And if we know our opponent don't have any strong XYZs, we can go into that. Uh, if we draw too many spells or anything, we didn't need to shuffle anything back. We do have two Magical Mallets, two Forbidden Droplets, three Forbidden Chalices, and a Magic Cylinder. All right, guys, so that'll do it for my deck profile on the Exosisters. Let's see if it does any good in the EDO Pro Duels. All right, guys, so here we are in our first EDO Pro Duels. It's just going to see... This will be the first testing of the Exo Sisters archetype. So let's see what we can come up with. Um, <laughs> first we have the Carpe Divium. Um, not a whole lot we can do here. Let's start setting some spell or some traps. We do have our Geki if we need it. Uh, can't X Y Z summon yet. We will summon it. No effects. Uh, let's go ahead and activate. Uh, this Carpe Divium. And I guess that's it. Not the greatest opening hand. Magic, Magical mul uh, Mallet would have been pretty good right here. Uh, let's say no. We won't, we actually want to get this in the graveyard. Nice. Alright, so we did pretty good on that one. We have... Uh, we can Normal Summon... Let's get Sophia out. Uh, if you control another access, you could draw one card. Okay, we'll get to draw power. Unless they have an interruption. Nice. Oh, okay. So we got a little bit of hand protection there. Now, we, if you wanted to, we can go into... Yeah, yeah, let's go with her. We could banish. This one's really good. We'll put her in uh, opposite. Let's go attack with Mika Elise. Uh, now what is it? When attack is... You can target once... Okay. Yeah, we'll activate it again. Get rid of that. Nice. Take the damage. Then... I guess we'll go into uh, Zeus here. Just to protect ourselves. Put that in attack. And we will end our turn. There we go. End phase, yes, let's chain Zeus, get rid of everything. <laughs> Ice Dragons, man, this guy's pretty good. I think we might have it. Maybe not. Okay, let's normal summon Sophia. And then let's just battle. Attack for 100. And we'll attack with Zeus. Alright, main phase two. We got nothing. We still have Ash and Raigeki in hand, so that is pretty good. Now if they attack me, I can activate Zeus and get one of their cards. And I can board wipe again, potentially. 
There's Berserker. Berserkion. Well, they had the outs for it. Alright, so we lost that one. But let's get into another duel and let's see if we can do any better. Alright, everybody, here we are in our second EDO Pro match. Let's see if we can do any better than the first one. Um, maybe. We got two packs. We got Irene, so we want to grab. Um, Sophia. So let's normal summon her first. So we use activate packs. We're going to grab a Sophia. Then. Special summon, yes. Now, we should be able to get two draws here, I believe. Irene. Uh, let's put the other packs on the top of the deck. Or bottom, sorry. Got 800 life points. Can activate Irene. Special summon. Activate Sophia. Got another. Sp okay, that's pretty nice. So we can go two level fours here. Okay, we will set the trap. Let's grab a. Oh, we want the Mika Lee. She has a quick effect to target a one card your opponent controls. So let's grab Nefarious and Elise. Put her over here. And then we can go into the Utopia Double, which is right here. Then Defense, the Matter. Activate, Pitch, Irene. Grab the Double or Nothing. Go into Dragonar. The turn you activate effect, no, the Monster Control can attack directly. Okay, so we can activate it now since we're not attacking anyways. Grab a uh, grab a dragon R or utopic dragon. Activate. Grab a utopia double. Special summon. Set the double or nothing. And that'll be our main phase one completed. Not too bad of a board this turn. That's pretty good. Harpy's feather duster. Well, didn't really need those anyways. Still have an Ashen Hand, so that's pretty good. Joker's Knight. Deck to the Graveyard, Special Summon this card. If you do, this card's name becomes that till the end phase. Well, he screwed up. Well, that's fine, I guess. We set up a pretty good board. Okay, so I'm not going to go too far into this. I don't think this deck's that good, honestly. Has a lot of interruption outs that it can't work through for the most part. We set up a better board that time. So the deck has potential. But, I mean, it's nothing special. I mean, if we're being completely honest, it's not really anything special. It can play with a lot of other things. But, I mean, just the fact that everything's level 4... It kind of plays like any other level four deck would, but interesting to try out the name interactions. That's that's what's kind of different, I guess. And then the uh, graveyard interaction is kind of cool, but nothing too el nothing nothing else too special about them. So let me know what you guys think down below of the Exo Sisters or what your you know your your different strategies would be with this. So love to hear what you guys have to say. Thank you guys again so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It means a ton to me. If you want to support the channel, feel free to check out my Patreon. Uh, don't forget to check out the Aftershock Videos uh, merch store. Got all kinds of cool stuff on there. And don't forget to give me a follow on Instagram. But again, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Later.